Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Pink Lady Gamer, and today we are going to play some Hearts Medicine Time to Heal. I saw Jack Sec guy, sorry to name names, but he played the started started and played the um the heat one, the second one. So I thought, well, let's try and we'll play the um first one. So well, this is how it starts. I don't know what just happened because it started doing some stuff and I don't even know what happened. So that's because he's bleeding out, Jenny. We need to clamp this artery. Oh, ah. Woo, got it. <laughs> Time to floor it, Joe. Go, Joe, go. Oh, he got. It's like, we're gonna be. This won't hold by itself. I need to place a ligature. Heck, I don't know what some of these words are. Ginny, give me the kit. Oh, wow. Daniel hasn't got much time left. What should I do? Tell Joe to drive faster? Tell Ginny to hurry up. Uh, let's tell Joe to drive faster. Any chance you could drive even faster, Joe? I'll try. Save his life. Oh, shit. What the hell happened? Joe, can you keep the ambulance steady? Maybe? It's either faster or steadier, Allison. The storm isn't helping. Oh. Come on, Jenny. You could do it. Well, I like how we're just flying everything. Toss it. She's like, God. You go, girl. Where's that? Ah! It's like, play. Try to find where stuff is. Oh god, ah, there it is, okay. Whew. This is like really time crunching, guys. Uh, ah. <laughs> and thread, we need thread. Any more? Come on, the ligature is holding, but he's still losing blood somewhere. I need you to survive for me, Daniel. I need you to survive. I can't live without you. Help me undo his straps. Uh, uh, I wish this was easy to put, take off straps. Just drag stuff up. There it is. Hold him steady and I'll stitch the wound. Oh. Oh. Good grief. Oh, we're getting some pretty dang good stuff. He, he He's stabilizing. And we're close to the hospital. He might be might just be okay here. I really hope so. I, I just can't lose him now. No, you're right. I think he might just be okay. Allison, Jenny, hold on! Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Ah! What the fuck? Fuck, guys! I don't know what the hell just happened. That's just... Oh, we got it! 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 We Hey, Allison, what's up, girly? Yeah, that's me. That's cool. Heart's medicine. Dun, 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 dun. Time to heal. Sounds so very soap, soap op, op, the soap opera. Whatever you want to say those things. All right, guys, let's get it. You. Hi. A little to the left. I'll say when to stop. And who are you? Hey, Daniel. Oh, hey, Daniel. What's up, dude? Allison, I heard you were back. I don't even know what that. You excited about finally entering at the surgery department? Excited and scared? Nonsense! You got nothing. Oh shit! To be scared of. 
Well, okay. Ugh, don't worry. I'm okay. I'm just going to take a quick nap. <laughs> there you go, guys. This is there we'll talk about. I'm going to take a quick nap. I'm sorry, Allison, but if I don't keep working, this renovation might be the end of me. No problem. I need to be in surgery anyway. I just like how he's just, he's assuming he's going to take a nap. You know, always good. Where are we going to, girl? Where's the surgery room? The big, big doors. Breathe in and breathe out. Oh, well, hello, handsome. Who are you? Oh, God, she's like, she's like oh, my God, I've never been to a surgery room before, ever. Hey, Dr. Quinn, my name. Why did they send me two interns? This is not going to work. I can only train one intern at a time. One of you is going to have to go. Well, it's not going to be me, ass. Oh, but I kind of thought... Okay, so it's been decided. But, but what do I do now? You can talk to Michael at the ward. He's always in need of more interns. Well, okay, douchebag. And you are a douchebag too over there, Mr. Whoever you are, asshole. You know, sir. And that's pretty much how everything works here at the ward. Okay, hi. Exciting, isn't it? Yeah, I am so excited. Let me guess, Quinn sent you. I might be able to take on another intern, but you're pretty late. I, I'm s really sorry. I thought I was assigned to surgery. Hmm. I could explain everything again. Jenny, you were here on time. Do you mind a little deja vu? Nope. I love instructions. Well, let's be all... Yay! I could care two hoots. That's really nice of you, Jenny. So, do you need to know how everything works? Yes, please. Because I have no idea what's going on. Thank you. I could really use some instructions. Jenny, why don't you explain it to Allison? Great! First, a patient will enter and sit down in the waiting area, trying to get their attention. Hey! Next, you'll have to tell the patient where they need to go. Oh. He's like, oh. After that, you treat them. Some patients require more than one treatment. We're going to the bed now. Some treatments require items or tools which you have to pick up first. Okay, and then you go to the person with the thermometer. Do you have a fever? Nope, obviously not. And over there you can check them out. Pretty simple, not too, not, yeah. Great work, Jenny. I <laughs> like how she's like, ha 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 With her foot up, like she won the lottery. Oh no, looks like Ruth's guinea pig Oliver escaped again. Let's see if we can catch him. Well, that was weird how he came out of the floor with a hole and then the hole disappears. Got him? Allison, are you paying attention? Two more things. Some treatments are more complex and require a precision task, but I'll explain this further when they happen. And helping patients quickly with the right treatment will increase their health. Remember, leave them too long and I'll have to step in. And that's all you need to know. I think I get the hang of it. I don't want to waste any more of your time. Let's get started. Well, peace out. Oh, Jenny doesn't get to stay? How rude. Why does she get to go? Alright, let's go to the chair. What you going to what you need? Oh, well, yeah, it was quick. Good girl. Yay, one star reached. For the first time. Shit. Woohoo. I love these type of games, by the way. They're just like, I don't know why, but they're very fun. This patient IV drip is not correct, correctly set. Scroll 
in the direction, right direction until the patient smiles. Alrighty. And remember, the quicker you are, the more hearts you'll earn. Okay, okay. That was just new. Hopefully just take it to an offense at all. I hope not. What's up, lady? Where are you going? Do you go here? Nope. Where are you going? Oh, a shower. I was like, what the hell? I was like, what was that all about? I didn't understand what went. At first I thought it was a stethoscope and not a shower. Good grief. She wanted a hot shower. She just didn't have hot showers at her place. Oh, look at the child. This little itty bitty child. The shift's done. Oh Time to go home and party. What what? What what? Oh, I didn't even pay attention about Oliver. Oh, I did find Oliver. <laughs> I was like, I thought, oh, I guess it didn't restart, so, okay. Next, gain more hearts that, than you can fit in the heart bar to create a golden heart patient. Gold patients no longer lose their hearts. Try to check out multiple golden heart patients together for large bonuses. What, what? Oh, hey, what's up, dude? And I'm done. What a day. Allison, these are dirty sheets from all the warts. You might... You mind giving them a wash? What the fuck? How lazy are you, dude? That's what you're gonna do if the intern. Sure. I don't know if I would be happy about that at all. Wash. And they only have one wash machine. You would think at a hospital they would have at least one or more dr washers and dryers because you know how much stuff they have to go through. No, I can only train one intern. Oh, I don't mind. You just take the one surgery internship there is. Allison, why don't you just wash all the sheets in this hospital? Sure, seems like fun. She's all upset. I'm such a loser. Uh, uh, hola, um, Connor? <laughs> Allison, hi, um, I was just... Um, showing Jenny where to find the um disinfected. Yeah. What the hell, dude? So yeah, Jenny. Now you know. Bye. What the hell was that all about? What the freak? Uh oh, Allison. Welcome back. Um, yeah, how could you take that lightly that you were making out in the whatever, if that was even a closet or a room, how would you not miss that they were making out? It's kind of like, really disinfectant, really. Alright guys, the ward. Cheer up Earl, he seems a little agitated, so let's go on to part two. <laughs> well, it's not part two, but two, level two, whatever. Oh, he is a grump. I know this isn't your favorite place in the in the world, Earl, but at least the sun is shining. You know, the sun will give your skin cancer, right? Well, let's be cynical in our old age, dude. Sure, but that wouldn't give you something new to complain about. <laughs> and here I am, Allison. Allison, maybe Allison can cheer you up. <laughs> I don't like brunettes. I find them aggravating. Well, F you, dude, there is no way. <laughs> you can change your hair color. Good luck. Well, boo you, dude. How much money do I have? I have $300. What should we do, guys? What should we upgrade? Hmm, let's go with chairs. Make them comfier. We'll get two comfy chairs. All right, I'm done. Let's play. How do I cheer him up? I don't understand. Hey, 
Earl, do you need anything? Yes, I need to not be in a hospital. I can't really change that, but I could get you a glass of water. Water? What am I, a plant? Well, F you, dude. <laughs> that was funny. What am I, a plant? <laughs> I didn't, I was realizing I did something stupid actually guys. Is the temperature in here always set to devil's waiting room? Hmm, it's pretty warm. I can try to set the thermostat a little lower. Try. How about you just do it? F you old man. I'm going to take a warm shower. I guess somebody does not know how to do it. Okay, I need a band-aid. I need to go over here. Sorry guys. I'm trying to figure this out. Too much stuff going on. Oh, what's what's up? Ooh, I read that book too. Do you like it? It's incredible. Incredible what passes for writing these days. Oh, for fuck's sakes, dude. Utter garbage. Dude, that was bullshit. I was like, I got hit by a book. I know I like to read, but good grief. What do you need? Band-Aid! Earl, what's up with you now? Could you stop walking around so much? Um, my job requires me to walk around. Sure, just ignore my requests. <laughs> Mental old man. Cynical old man. Where's the little shower lady? Come on. Oh, I forgot him to look for Oliver. Well, that's okay. Next time. I was too much too busy trying to make sure Earl is all happy and sunshine. Click the bubbles, try and click away all the bubbles from your syringe. Okay. I'm freezing. Can you turn the thermostat up? First you're too hot, now you're too cold. Can you make up your mind, old man? A person can change his mind, can't he? By the way, should I, shouldn't I have gotten some form of medication by now? Ooh, she's, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I've got the medication. Damn, girl, you go. With this whole renovation, several orders have gotten mixed up, so it took a little longer. So I almost died of old age here because of, because you, I dare you to finish that sentence. Allison? Ruth, I'm so happy to see you. Aww. Reunion. I heard what happened with Quinn. Dear, not really what you were hoping for on your first day back. I don't know, Ruth. Maybe I just wasn't ready for surgery. Oh, shut the front door. You're just as good as the brat Mason. And Quinn is an idiot for not picking you. That's his name, Mason. The douchebag decided to be like, oh my god, I'm number one. Come to think of it, all the men in this hospital could use a brain transplant. <laughs> she said it. I didn't say it. But that was genius. Thanks, Ruth. I needed that. Just speaking the truth, dear. Now, let's get some food in you. Bye, old grumpy. You've unlocked a challenge level. Challenge levels usually don't have a storyline, but you can get to earn them diamonds with your comp complete them. Cool. All right. Emily's hospital food. Emily, help Emily in the hospital canteen. Oh, let's go ahead. Let's check this out. What's up? Oh, okay. I'm so confused. Emily, what are you doing here? Well, I came for Paige's checkup and somehow ended up running the canteen. It's odd. It seems like everywhere I go, people are in desperate need of a chef. Well, the good news for us, that means the hospital food is going to get get a lot better. 
If you can come back in a few minutes, I'll prepare something for you. Help Emily in the hospital canteen. Oh, she wants a cupcake. You want a soup. Okay, let me get the soup. Okay, what is that? Oh, shit. Cupcake. Stude wants a cupcake. Oh my good guys, this is really weird. This is like I'm trying to figure this all out. She just wants sweets. Did you notice that guys? Allison just wants all sweets. She had two a chocolate and now she wanted a freaking cupcake. Sorry guys, I'm talking about talking to you guys. That was interesting, guys. Sorry for not talking to you there for a second. I was just too busy to make sure everybody gets their orders without being all pissy ass about it. I guess. <laughs> okay, guys. Let's play one more. And we'll get to the next thing. Let's see where more of the story is. Well, earlier, still sit there like a bump on a log. I'm heading back to the pharmacy now, but remember, Allison, don't let anyone get you down. Especially these jokers. <laughs> well, um, yes, you could just drop it off over here. Um, uh, Daniel, what's happening? I was kind of sort of hoping we could store a couple of things for the renovation here. Um, but doesn't that interfere with our patients? It might, a little, but you wouldn't... But you would really, really help me out of a bind. Okay, if you talk this through with Michael. Thanks, Allison. You're amazing. Aw, is that sweet little couple there? Um. Well, let's do the chair one more time. We'll do one more chair. And let's play. We'll save our money for the next time. All right, mister. All right, guys. Go to the shower. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, guys, come on. What the fuck is that? Oh, shot purple medicine. Sorry. Okay, remember, the quicker you are, the more hearts you'll earn. Okay, so you come back. That's where you pop the bubbles. Hi, lady. Okay, guys, come on. Let me have my time here. Oliver! Found you. Okay. I hate those things. Okay, come on. Let's go check him out. You need a band-aid. Can't you do that at home, obviously? Not. You cannot do that at home. I did. What are you talking about?
Oh, good gosh. I think I did not do good with that guy, kid. Sorry, kid. Ah. Got the three, the three bonuses. Yay! I just think that kid. I'm sorry, I screwed the kid over. Ah! Hey, at least I found Oliver this time, guys. At least I found him. Yay! Action. Some treatments will require you to complete a set of movements. Follow the line to complete the treatment. Okay. Oh, uh, what you want now, Daniel? Mr. Pushover. Or no, she's a pushover. What's that for? For help me out today. Oh, that's so sweet, guys. This renovation hasn't been going well. And it's nice to have a little help instead of just complaints. Well, thank you. This renovation is really important to you, isn't it? You know, I became the head of the hostel because of my father, right? This was this is my way of stepping up and showing people I'm just as capable, if not more capable, than my father. And I'm not going to let a few negative voices stop me from making this the best hospital in the world. Even if that means I have to renovate it myself. Well, you got my help now. That's true, but you also have an internship you have to finish. So I'll use that help sparingly. Aww, look how sweet that is, guys. That's so sweet. And that was very inspirational. So... All right, guys, I'm going to leave it here. Please like and share this video, and hopefully you guys enjoy it, and let me know down in the comments if you want me to keep playing, or just give me a like. I don't, it really doesn't matter, but just remember, you guys are all a book, and it's still being written, so I'll see you guys all next time. Bye!